This is a demonstration video of the Pilot record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those all the way down fully clockwise so the deck floats on its springs and remember to release the arm clip. On the front are the two main controls for on off volume and tone. On the deck you have the speed control on the left, stop start control on the right and size detection is automatic via the white trip lever at the back. You can load between 1 and 10 records, I'll demonstrate with 2 just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stacker arm across and flick the right hand control knob all the way around to start the auto changer. right hand control knob all the way around again if you want to skip to the next record. If I had someone like you So I'll just demonstrate now with a larger record. I'll demonstrate with a 10 inch record. Same principle applies for a 12 inch. I play a 78, so there is a dedicated 78 stylus. Simply turn the flag over at the front of the playing arm so it says 78. And when you stack a 10 or 12 inch record, you need to make sure the record is stacked above the white horizontal lever, like so. And that is so that the tone arm knows to land in the correct position. the arm lifts off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the mat and select the manual position and place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, lower the stacker arm down if you want it to switch off at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position as pictured here, that triggers a repeat function which is for 7 inch records only and the same 7 inch plays over again. So I hope that covers everything for you. If you do have any questions when you receive it I'll include my personal email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact me.